Howdy champs! My name is Mohit and guys today I'm going to show you um, how to create a slider component and use it in a way that you probably might not have uh, uh, thought of maybe you, you may not have visualized it uh, with the help of this project guys you'll learn a lot about action script you'll see how powerful action script really is in fact uh, let me first show you a, a preview guys uh, have a look out here that I have a folder out here on the desktop called new folder which is containing all the assets that I require for this project let me show you a preview by hitting the swift file okay let me just center it up now guys have a look out here we have a picture or an icon that's showing through and we have a slider here at the bottom if I slide it further let's say to the middle you see the picture actually changes let me slide it further down to the extreme right you see the picture changes once again so basically what is happening out here is through the slider component that flash gives us I'm actually able to change the pictures All right? you see out here I have used just three pictures and this is just an example this is just a tutorial this is just a lesson uh, practically you can use as many pictures as you want and all the pictures guys as you can see out here pick one pick two and pick three are actually lying externally and if I were to open the flower file for you you can see this absolutely nothing on the stage everything that was happening was happening because of uh, the action script everything was fired off only through action it's a pure action script 3 project guys right that's why I said you learn a lot about action script and uh, as you can have a look out here on the timeline I just have one single layer and I've called it AS3 okay apart from that um, there's absolutely nothing on the stage the size of the stage is 350 by 3 uh, 320 that is the height 350 is the width and if I go to the library guys it's mandatory guys that you pull the label component and the slider component out from the components you just you know you need to drag and leave it uh, and drop it in the library that's a must guys you see this is the actions panel now we have around um, 40 plus lines of script this script is effective only if these two components are lying inside the library let me show you something if I were to remove uh, the components the the label and the slider component completely if I were to make the li library completely empty and if I were to hit control enter to test the file the flower file let's say control enter you see I get an error message out here a compiler error message which says uh, type was not found or was not a compile time uh, constant slider event alright now I'll show you what I'll do is I'll hit the I'll hit this icon I'll go to components or alternatively I could have gone to window I could have gone to components shortcut keys control F7 alright so window components and then I need to pull out the label component drop it in the library I need to pull out the slider component drop it in the library and only then then and only then is my script actually effective guys not otherwise right so that is the a small prep work that you need to do just drop the label and the slider component inside the library and write the script just the way I've written okay I'll take you through the script I won't be writing the script all over again it's a it's slightly lengthy I'm pretty lazy when it comes to writing scripts again and uh, you need to make sure guys that the three pictures in question are named exactly pick one pick two and pick three and as I said earlier guys it's not mandatory that you need you know use only three pictures you could have used five seven ten or whatever all right you just need to make slight alteration to the script and uh, the script will fire uh, just as effectively okay and uh, so basically you need to have a folder where you need to store all the assets so that they can see each other that's that's uh, you know s something that you need to take care of 
so the slider component swift file the flaw file I've, I've called it sc for short pick one pick two and pick three are all lying in the same folder that folder could be on the desktop or could be anywhere else that's not important what is important is that all the files the swift the flaw and the pictures should be able to see each other should be in the same folder right okay so before i actually um, show you and uh, make you understand the action script let me uh, show you a publish preview once again by hitting control enter all right so guys uh, you can see we have a label out here which says slide the slider component to change the pictures we have the you know the first picture showing up up front and as i slide the slider take it in the middle you can see that the second picture appears and if i take it to the extreme right and that's uh, I cannot take the slider any further the third picture appears but as I said if there were more pictures I could have made some alteration to the uh, action script right so guys basically um, use the slider component to change the pictures and let's understand the script now scripting time <laughs> that uh, usually gives a lot of guys shivers right but you see I, I have always felt if uh, you're a person with logic script will not uh, will not be too difficult for you that's 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 the i think the most important thing when it comes to programming in any language is the logic more than anything else right so let's try and understand uh, the script guys as i said i am not really um, i'm feeling too lazy to write the script again and again since it's a lengthy one so I'll just take you through uh, it quickly. Okay, guys, these are a few classes that I need to import or and I need to write initially. That's important. Okay, uh, a, a few class, you know, classes uh, missing out here in the script again may not fire properly. Okay, now guys, I've created a variable or declared a variable called tf, uh, tf for text format of the type text format, and uh, basically creating a new instance of a text format variable. In which guys I've used, I've actually uh, you know uh, mentioned that the color for the font that I want to use and the uh, the font that I actually want to use, right? Also the font size, guys. And guys, if you remember, uh, remember I had used the label component. Now I've used the uh, I've declared the TF variable simply because I can apply it to the label component. Now again, uh, instantiated a label out here, a new label out here, and I've declared. Uh, a width for the label as 340 then I've used the set style method and I've applied the text format uh, this color this font and this size I've applied through the set style method guys all right and I've added a text to the label using the text property guys and then I've used the move property and I made sure that the my label is actually starting at x coordinate 5 y coordinate 5 if I were to hit control enter you can see this label uh, slide the slider component is actually starting at x5 and uh, y5 right so basically everything that is happening uh, in this project is completely purely action script 3 guys right right in line number 21 i've created yet another variable a slider of the type slider and made it equal to a new slider basically creating a new instance of a slider i've given it a width of 200 pixels I made sure that the tick interval is one and the slap interval is also one. What is a tick and a snap interval? Guys, if I hit control enter to test, you can see there is a dot out here, another one out here, another one out. These are ticks. And if I slide the slider, you see it snaps to the ticks. Right? Uh, very, very tiny dots. I'm not so sure whether you can see it properly or not. Right? So these are the ticks and these are the snaps. It snaps to those ticks. Right. Uh, also guys I'm, uh, I've mentioned that the slider value the maximum value for the slider is 1 uh, sorry is 3 all right I've also mentioned that the minimum value for the slider is 1 so between 1 and 3 okay this is 1 guys this is 2 and this is 3 you can mention the min and the max values to any other value of course all right and I would want the current value to be 1 that's why the slider is in the beginning okay then i use the move method to move the slider to x coordinate uh, 65 and 290 guys so if i hit control enter you can actually see uh, this this is 65 and 290 this coordinate right 
uh, in line number uh, 33 guys have uh, declared yet another variable a loader of the type ui loader now ui loaders are used to load external assets and if you remember the pictures picture one picture two picture three are lying externally okay uh, initially up front i made the source of the a loader or the ui loader to be pick one up front okay i've also uh, made sure that the scale content is set to false basically i don't want the pictures to scale to the size of the ui loader which in fact i've not mentioned itself also at the same time guys i've made sure that the ui loader is situated at 50 30 x and y see if i hit control enter this this point is 50 30 guys right the top left then i've used the add child add child method to add the slider the you know the ui loader component and the label all the three onto the stage so basically um, i'm sure you are getting an idea that everything that is happening in this project is happening purely because of action script 3 add child method is uh, required to display the uh, component on the stage right and then i've added an event listener to the uh, slider okay it's actually um it's actually a, a slider event guys of the type change so whenever the value of the slider changes i would want a function called change handler to be run also guys i missed a line out here line number 29 says that a slider dot live dragging is equal to true now what is live dragging live dragging means the moment you um, you know you click and drag the slider the changes should appear simultaneously on the stage as and when you drag okay if you set it off then unless and until you you know you stop the dragging and uh, take the finger off the mouse not you know only then will the change be visible but when you set the live dragging to on the moment you have snapped to a new value the changes will show simultaneously instantly right so you can uh, experiment by removing this single line okay you can comment it out and you can see what happens let me show it to you in fact control enter you see if i have uh, actually I've, i'm in the middle now and the picture has not changed i'm in the extreme right the picture has not changed but the moment i take my finger off the mouse only then will it change now this does not happen when you're dragging it live you see let me set it to live dragging once again hit control enter and uh, now i can drag it to uh, you know any any position and the picture changes instant instantly i don't need to uh, you know take my finger the index finger off the the left click and that's not required when you set it to a live dragging is equal to true it's a, it's a boolean guys you can set it to true or false right so it's good to keep it uh, at true anyways so basically now this is uh, something that i've done very intelligently i've said uh, in line number 45 that i would want the a loader a, a loader is nothing but the ui loader the source of which i would want to be pick plus event dot value now the event is the slider event the value is either one two or three if you notice out here the min value is one the max is three guys and the present value the current value is set to one so the event dot value cannot acquire any other value but one two and three okay so the source actually becomes pick plus one plus dot png or pick plus two plus dot png so basically the source will be pick one dot png pick two dot png or pick three dot png but if there were more than three pictures guys you need to change the maximum and the min values uh, if you want you can change the the current value but that's not important you need to change the min and the max values guys if there are more than three pictures right so basically it's it's, it's 46 lines uh, odd of uh, action script uh, 3 guys so i, I hope you uh, have actually understood it's i know it's a little advanced it's a little uh, maybe advanced for some guys it's actually pretty simple if you really know, you know understand uh, action script pretty well it should not be too difficult uh, and if you really find it difficult but yet would want to use the project what you can do is you can actually visit my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads and you can get this uh, you can get the source file absolutely free guys you can download it from there right so before i actually terminate the tutorial guys let me show you a published preview once again by hitting control enter on the keyboard 
and slide the slider component this is the second picture this is the third picture second back to the first all right <coughs> so guys uh, using the slider component we see how we can actually change the pictures so uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial guys and uh, as I said you can download it from my website you, you, you can see the link uh, there in the, the description all right so I guess I'll see you very soon with yet another uh, tutorial you have a good day guys bye bye peace